part three and the final part of our pocket size altered file folder. So, <clears throat> just a little recap. We've not done the front. We have created this pocket, filled it with a few bits of ephemera. Over here we've made a uh, flap that opens up so there can be some writing. We're going to leave this place so that a photo could be added here or, you know, you could add some more pockets if you wanted, but I like the option of having a couple of blank spots for photos. We've left this blank. We've put four pockets here, two large tags, and then the two small ones within these. And now, um, I was thinking a belly band, so that's where we're going to head with this because I still like the idea of that. So what I've done for the belly band, and you know, if you've followed me for a while, you know I like to have these layered um, page adornments or belly bands. And what I do is just combine bits of fabric with paper. I've got old music sheet. I've got some digital. And then I love this little vintage uh, bit of fabric. I bought that from uh, Susie's shop at the Creative Soul, uh, not Creative Soul, um, Creative Girl, years gone back. Um, I ordered some from her when I was in the U.S., and I love that because it's that really soft pink. So I've just stitched, stitched, stitched because that kind of um, <clears throat> reinforces it so it's not so floppy with the fabric. So we're just going to add that there, but before I do that, I forgot my daughter got me these years and years ago. If you're familiar with Stampin' Up! you'll remember when they used to have these little um, embosslets. And this was the sweet buttons, and what it does is it cuts and embosses at the same time. And I had forgotten about this, and when I spotted I was like, you know what? I'm going to get that out and put it up on my desk because it still looks like a button, but obviously you don't have the thickness, and that really lends itself to this project in particular because we don't want this to get too bulky. So you can see up close, look at all the um, texture that you get from that. I love it. Love that little, um, that little die. So I'm just going to put... Just going to distress because it'll pull those details out a little bit more. Just going to distress three, and I've got three set to the side that we may add here and there. So let's just go ahead and have it strong glue. Hmm, I'll try it. This is the art glitter glue, it, it'll probably hold that paper. I uh, better not risk it. I'll, I'll stick with the Fabri Tac just to make sure. I was trying to avoid opening this because I've got my window closed today because um, when I film I try to keep the window closed. I've got a very, uh, you know, one of those moms that likes to scream at her kids all day. <laughs> That's our neighbor. Yay. <laughs> so I thought, oh, when I'm, when I'm videoing it's best if I keep the window closed otherwise you're going to hear, Piper! Piper! Yeah, it's um, it's not nice. <laughs> Funny the um, uh, they different names that they name the children here. Uh, well, they're different to me. Maybe you guys have heard, but Nigel's very common. Piper, Poppy. Uh, it's very very different to the names that. Um, but I like them, but it's you don't want to hear it 10,000 times in a day. <laughs> and with a screechy voice. <laughs> okay, so let me show you that just up close. And look how nice and thin. Yay! Because I'm I don't want this to get too bulky because I want this to be. I think these are suited for hair. Because it'll still.
still be quite expensive internationally because it'll go as a small package. But um, Happy Mail, I think this would be awesome in Christmas um, colors, as I said, for a little stocking stuffer for somebody. So we're just going to leave that, let that dry, because uh, we'll come back and add a couple of little journal cards or this and that. Okay, so we've got that in place. We'll deal with that in a bit. Now here, hmm, some more of these, um, the pie on paper that I've got left over. I'm just going to make a little tuck there because I dug around and I found this um, I think this is ephemeris, ephemeris Vintage Garden. I could be wrong guys but that was a printable I found in my stash and I really <clears throat> want to dwindle this stuff down and it really suits itself to this so all I'm going to do with this is just distress it a little bit more on the edges and then glue that down so but you can see um, there's I mean you could add <clears throat> so many flips to this but I'm keeping it fairly simple from the point you know because I I know I'm going to be mailing this out so I don't want to get too crazy with it but if you Oh, goodness, sorry, guys, my glue wasn't ready this morning. Um, gosh, you could add so, <clears throat> so many flips to this if you want to. Okay, we're having issues. <laughs> oh, isn't it just always the way? I, I really do think these are pretty good little bottles. It's just every now and then I've got to uh, run a pin down in there and and if you're wondering, because I get asked this all the time where I got these, just put fine tip uh, bottles in the search and you should have no trouble finding that. Come on now, are you going to work with me? Oh dear, I don't know. Didn't do enough yesterday, I guess. It's, let me see if I can unblock this, guys. Yeah, I should have checked all this before I started filming, but um, you think you've covered all your bases, but clearly, clearly not. I don't know. Ah, there she comes. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm just going to get that really close to the edge there because this is quite a large journal card. I want to make sure that's going to fit without, yeah, that's no problem like that. I'm not going to add that just yet because I want all this stuff to get glued down nice. Um, okay, we'll come back to that. Embellishments will be last, guys. I just want to get the, <clears throat> the main pockets and things in. Okay, so if you got any questions about anything, just leave a leave it in the comments below and I'll try to address anything. So here, <clears throat> I want a side pocket. I was debating between the, which side I wanted to do that on, but I've decided to go here. And what I've done... I have two weights of cardstock that I'm working with. This one is about a 200 GSM, so it's a little bit thicker. And then this one, I believe, is 100, so it's not much thicker than copy paper. Um, it was ordered in error, but I have to say it's actually ended up being very beneficial because for projects like this, um, it's less bulk. So I'm, well, I've die cut this, this is one of the Tim Holtz wildflowers, and I want to have this sandwich between and that's going to form a pocket. So the next thing I'm going to do is just get that glued 
to that and then I'll cut off the excess around that and then like I said once we've got everything in that we want I'm gonna then come back and see how much embellishing I could do without it just getting ridiculously thick <laughs> And I may have to stop this abruptly today, guys, because our milk will be delivered, and he usually hits the, the door bell, so I may have to stop and go down and sort that out, because he's picking up the packaging today. We, um, we drink raw milk, and... Uh, We've been about a month without it because they had a little bit of an incident. You know, they're, they're super strict on people who are selling raw milk. And um, so they have a little bit of a incident and they, sh you know, they, they you can't uh, sell anything until it's all cleared. Which is good, you know, I can understand it, but they do seem to be particularly hard on these little little farms who are trying to do things more natural. So um, we're trying to support them and as much as we can. <clears throat> it's a little bit more money, but the health benefits make it worth it, in my opinion. And uh, Paul and I both, we feel so much better. I mean, in so many ways. If you're interested in it, guys, do some research. It might not be available to you because I know it varies uh, country by country and within your country, state by state. Um, like I said to you, it's it's definitely a it's a big deal for us, and it will d probably determine where we base ourselves back in the U.S. on whether that is available or not because um, yeah, the, the health benefits are, are so unreal if you start looking into it. Okay, I'm liking that. That looks really sweet. Okay, so what we're going to do here... Oh, you know what? Let's round the corners. Just for kicks, let's round the corners. And actually, uh, actually, I'm going to run over to the machine. I want some stitching on this, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, that's how it looks now that it's been stitched around. <coughs> A little bit more ink there. So yeah, last night we had a. Um, my, sorry about my throat today, guys. Last night we had a little fire in the back, um, and uh, the smoke. Ugh, getting old stinks. The smoke started irritating my throat. So yeah, it's a bit scratchy again this morning. I hope that's not gonna get to the point where I can't have campfires because, whoo, you know I love to be out in front of the campfire. So, but yeah, that was a shame. It probably wouldn't have been so bad if we'd have been outside the whole time, but the dining room, we had the, the doors open and it was coming in while we were playing a game. We play um, Catan every evening now because the TV is just so garbage. And um, so I was sitting right there by the door and it was coming right in. So it may be outside. It probably wouldn't have been affected me as much. Um, okay, so where are we now?
kind of like that. This was made for a different project, but I kind of like that. That might work there. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay, so over here, I have actually decided I'm going to do another little flip. So, um, so I've measured this out. <coughs> Gosh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't think it would be bothering me this bad. Obviously, you're going to want to measure yours just in case it, it is slightly different. But this is five and a quarter by two inches. And uh, I've just covered it with some paper on two pieces. <coughs> and I've just sandwiched, I'm going to sandwich a little hinge in there. And then I'm going to make this a flipping. A flipping pocket <laughs> um, and then I'll I'll make that into two but I think let me just do one thing at a time because I'm getting ahead of myself so that's gonna be glued to that so this is the one I got a sandwich now in all fairness you wouldn't have to do this step if I had been thinking just add like an extra inch onto your piece and then score down it and you can have a, a ready-made hinge but I would just brain cells weren't working so that's why I've had to do this extra little step so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna glue actually I'm not gonna glue that I'm going straight to the machine guys to put this back on and I'm gonna stitch three sides and then straight down the middle again but before I do that let me grab my punch before I do that let me just try to center this uh, you know what I better mark this with a ruler yeah okay let me find the center and then I'm gonna because I want to make sure I get this right. Pin 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 pin. Okay. Sometimes you can eyeball things, but I don't think the way things are going this morning I'm gonna risk it. So there's my center. I'm doing it on this side so it doesn't show. That's my center there. There's probably an easier way to do this, guys, but I'm terrible with math. So bear with me. You're probably sitting there thinking, oh, Tina, you could do this so much easier. about right. Oops. Gosh. I'm hoping. I'm hoping, hoping I got that right. That looks about right. Gosh, I hope I got that center. Like I said, most of the time I eyeball it, but because I've got... I hope I've done that right, guys. <laughs> Ah, it makes me so nervous. Okay, let me just go ahead and ink that slightly. And then I'll run it to the machine. And get some nice stitching on that. And then we'll start coming in and spruce it up with a, with a few things without adding bulk is what I'm hoping. Do a little bit on this one as well. Just snipping off that little extra bit. So 
I want it. Let me get my little binder back over here. There we go. Come on. All right, so. Got to make sure I get this the right way when I sew that. Yeah, I think that. And then that'll flip over so that if you wanted another photo, that gives two spaces for a photo or adding whatever else. Okay, guys, I'll be back. All right, now you can see what it looks like now that it's been stitched. I did two lines of stitching here just to kind of reinforce that because there will be a lot of pulling in and out, I guess, on that with the, the little tags. So the other thing I thought, <clears throat> I'll just try to do a little decorative. I don't know if I can get that. Yeah, I'm hoping that'll work. This punch, um, I've got issues with it now, so I, I hope this won't just get hung up in there. Ugh, it did. Ah, right, there we go. Alrighty, that's okay. Just uh, ink that a little bit. I just wanted it to be a little bit more decorative. Alrighty, back to it here. Yeah. Okay, I've got to trim a little bit off the bottom. That's going to bug me. Just a hair. Okay, looking good, looking good. Glue, glue, glue. Where's the glue? Oh gosh. Ah, there it is. Okay, let's get this down. And hopefully, that's not going to have. Um, bulk that out too, too much. So let's just have a look where we are now with the thickness on this. Oh yeah, look at that still. Oh yes, okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, <clears throat> we've got place, oh actually we got two blank. Hmm, might have to come back because uh, that's three four blank spaces. Mm, yeah, it's a bit much, isn't it? So I think we better... I'm going to leave that because I want that to be flat because you got your writing. I think here we're going to have to come up with maybe, I don't know, something. I just feel like three spaces is just a little bit too empty. Alright, so here... Just trying to see, would that fit? And these are little offcuts from other projects. And I don't know, I found that somewhere, so I might add that there. And then I think a little tag here of some sort. Actually, I may have a tag. Hang on, guys. Yeah, I've actually got a little tag already, so. Okay. So we'll save that. We can probably add that in somewhere. Journal card was going to go here. And then I kind of liked that. I don't know. Does that really go with that? I think I'll change that and put like a flower or something. I, 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 but I do like the little index card. So, Okay, so I'll make that. Um, I thought this was a piece of embossed, just trim that down and maybe back that with some tea dyed papers, my thinking on that, to make a nice big journal card. So, okay, let's do that and then see where we are. Okay, here's some more little printables. 
if you're not familiar with, I'm going to put this up close, because uh, I cannot pronounce her shop name, guys. There it is, Ear Lajama, Ear Lamaja Shop. She does lots of little shabby chic things, so I've printed out, because look at that, it's a little weekly planner, and I just did nine to a page, because I thought, how that'd be cute to have a couple of those, and so let me cut those out quickly, um, and just add those to it, because I think they're really, really pretty. You know what, I'm just going to I'm gonna punch this. I think this would be cute just to have these tied together with some of my linen thread here. Oh boy, guys, I've got a mess in this room. All right, now, the other thing I want to do is add a little tag. And I like the idea of that little circle one with the heart because this is shabby daddy chic. chic. All right, yeah, I think I started on something else, didn't I? But we'll get back to it, hopefully. All right, where's my, sorry, uh, looks like we're having some power issues here today, guys. So I hope I'm not about to lose, lose power. If I do, I'll have to, I'll have to record this later. All right, let's get this tied on. I want a little charm. I've got a button charm, or I've got the little metal heart. I think the heart might be sweet there. I'll save that because I'll probably use that as well. So, put a little a little heart charm here. Let me make sure I get this on right. So today, guys, it's supposed to be pretty warm here. That's why I'm going to try to get <clears throat> some work in this morning. Because by the afternoon, you cannot even stand to be up here. We were going to get a, um, a portable air conditioner unit, but we don't want to really spend the money on it, guys, because we've just put in for Paul's visa, and they're saying it's going to take about a year, but we don't even know if, if, if it'll be back in that amount of time, so... Um, everything is just, yet again, on hold. Um, because I want to get home. I want to get home for a lot of reasons. Um, so there's a big, big push now, and I'm just praying that it just goes on through and there's no issues, but th at the moment they're not even processing anything with all this coronavirus, so um, 
to yeah, if you could be praying about it, it would be very much appreciated because I'm st I just I want to get home. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to go into everything, but yeah, I need to be home. Okay. Oh, look at that. Isn't that sweet? I love that. Okay, so now I want to do a little Rolodex card. Let me see if I've got one cut. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm hoping I've got one of those already cut. Otherwise, I'll have to stop and... Yeah, I do. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so what... I'm going to do is just a little bit of light stamping on that. Um, so yeah, you know, there's nothing bad <laughs> in the sense of, you know, everybody is okay at the moment with the family. Um, it's just other things. I just <clears throat> am feeling like I need to be back with my family. So, yeah, that's why everything is just feeling very much on hold. And these are things I don't mind sharing here. It's not stuff I would open up about on uh, YouTube because, um, yeah, I'm having a lot of problems, guys, with social media at the moment. And, oh, you know what? Why not? Why not? I'm going to put him there. Um... So, uh, I'm, <clears throat> I, I, I'm not, you know, I don't really like drama. <laughs> I don't think anybody does. Well, that's not true. There are some people who just seem to thrive on it. Um, but yeah, I'm having a lot of uh, things happening in the background, so I'm limiting my time on, uh, YouTube and Facebook and just a heads up guys Facebook I'm going to be getting rid of uh, very very soon I'm just I'm just I've got a couple of things kind of ongoing right now and it's once that's resolved um, because I've had my account hacked several times over the last year. Um, but um, there's been some personal attacks going on. And uh, I'm just not into all that stuff. So I'm not, you know, I'm not going to even talk about it. Because nobody wants to hear all this garbage with everything going on. Okay, I'm liking that. It's simple. But I actually really think it's pretty in a very simple way. Hmm. I don't know, it might not be your cup of tea. I think, you know, everybody's different, aren't they? But I think sometimes simple stuff just appeals to me. I like that. I'm not going to do anything else to that, to be honest. I think that's pretty the way it is. Alright, so I actually am just going to tuck that back here kind of peeking through. Oh, you know what I will put? A little stamp there. Let me do something nice there. I think... I think believe is the word for today. Believe. Believe things will get better. Yeah. There we go. There we go. And that, I think, well, it would be nice if it was seen, wouldn't it? Hmm, because if I tuck it in, hmm. Okay, maybe that's not the spot for that. Maybe. That's quite nice, isn't it? Okay, that's where that's going to go. So, we've got to do something different there. Alright, let me sort this out, guys. And Okay, 
The next thing I want to do, I definitely, definitely want, I think that would be pretty if I have to trim that down. All right, let me see if I can trim this down a bit. Um, so yeah, so that's um, kind of where my head is at the moment. So um, you may have, or you may not have noticed, you know, that I'm not been as active on Instagram or Facebook, but um, there's just other stuff happening. We've got um, we've got our hands full with Paul, Paul's mother at the moment. She's um, a challenge. So there's just so many things, guys, and like I said, it's. Uh, you can only take so much, so I've had to just <clears throat> prioritize what I can cope with and what I can't, and uh, I just can't be bothered with all this garbage on, you know, with people. Just nonsense, that's all I'm going to say. So, I want to get home. <laughs> I, I love it here, I do, guys, but I want to be back home with my family and uh, try to get through these tough times with, uh, with people that uh, care about me, and uh, so that's, that's the priority right now, so please be praying that... Um, The doors will be opened up. Alright, so I'm going to now back this and stitch it because I want it to be another little writing space within. And we're going to stamp that quickly. I think that little bird would be pretty in, in here, so let's do him. Look at him. Isn't he sweet? He's really sweet. I'm going to stitch him as well. Alright, let me run to the machine, guys. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys. I am back. And now we're just going to... I'm going to add him there. That will flip over. I think I want that left blank for whatever and then I've done the little this is the little journal card it's been embossed and I went ahead and stamped because I love that little stamp yeah I get a lot of questions over that guys that was an unbranded stamp I bought years ago so <clears throat> I'm sorry I can't guide you on where you could get it because I've had so many folks um, asking me about that. Okay, so this was an extra from uh, the pie and papers that I want to tuck into something. So I'm inclined to do another small pocket here and then just tuck that in. So let's do that. I wonder if I could use, might be pretty with some, um, you know what I think I'll do? I'm going to put that on too, because I've still got some of the scrap paper. Let's cut them down and just see what we can come up with. What can we come up with? Because I can trim that back. Okay, guys, uh, had to stop that again. I'm sorry. All right, so cut that. Oh, yeah, I've decided I want to incorporate that piece. So let me get a little bit more ink here. And then we'll 
<clears throat> I'm going to sew all this together. Because that's kind of a thin piece there. I want to make sure this is going to be a sturdy little pocket. And then we'll start filling this in and with some cards and things. And I found this little bit, and look at the little birds. And uh, I thought, well, I'll layer that as well. So I think what I want to do is get that stitched down. And then I think I'm going to come back with a couple more of the little tiny buttons and add to that. Yeah, I'm glad I found this. I must start using these things I've got. I'm terrible about that. If I don't see it, I forget about it. <clears throat> Alright, so just put that there and then I can trim it off. And then we can add a few things. Okay guys, I'm going to run this. I want to get some stitching on this again, so I'm going to run this to the machine. Actually, let me glue it down a little bit, because I don't want to do a lot of crazy stitching on it. So let me go ahead and glue this. All right, guys, stitch that around, and then I just did a straight and then a zigzag and then finished off with a straight. So now I'm going to put these little faux buttons on here. So yeah, there's a lot of little textures going on. And then now, get this glued and then trim that down to fit. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I like that. That's good. So now let me just snip off that little, little corner there. Okay, I've got another little stamp here, guys. I want to get stamped out. I'm hoping that will fit in that pocket without it. I hope so. It might be a little bit too big, but I love this stamp. And again, this was a free set with one of the... Uh, Craft, oh, that didn't work. One of the craft and uh, stamping books here in the UK. And I believe 
it's a you can get it in the U.S., but this has been a you know it's long past. You won't get it now, but well, I say that sometimes you can find those things. Gosh, that stamp seems a little bit strange. Hmm, I'll have to check on that. That might need a good old clean. But I threw the magazine out because the ma magazine was junk. Um, so I can't even remember what it was. <laughs> um, but yeah, every now and then you can get some good stamps in those little... It's like Creative Stamper or something. But uh, I don't generally buy them because they're not that great um, of a magazine. And the stamps and dies they give you are usually not worth. Because the magazines are like $10. And I'd rather spend the money on stamps I actually want. Okay. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping it's going to fit that pocket because that was, oh yeah, perfect. Okay, now let me get some pretty, yeah, I love that. Isn't that a pretty little stamp? Okay, oops, I'm sorry. I think I'll put a little bit of uh, linen thread on this as well. That's a little scrappy piece. So yes, the next thing I've got... Uh, do is we've got to finish up these uh, December dailies and then yeah I'm kind of excited I just got in a new kit from <clears throat> Stephanie at my porch prints it's been a while since I did a design team project for her she's my only designer now by the way guys I'll do some guests uh, here and there but but yeah, I, I've scaled back on my design team projects. So, oh, okay. When I when this closes, that's it's gonna affect that. So I might have to. Mm, yeah, I have probably have to turn that when it's closed, and then make a position. Okay. Well, anyways, that's that. Now, let's get. I want to put a couple of these little shabby ledgers in. So let me pull my... Not that you care about seeing it. I, I hate to be off on the side work, and sometimes I, I, I do that, and then afterwards I think, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm, I've got... A new kit from her, which is Among the Wildflowers, and of course it's it coordinates with her <coughs> Wildflower Botanical, I think. Might have been the name of the other one, so I haven't printed it out yet, but that's going to be, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to start printing. But it's a very, my printer is so slow <coughs> that it's, it's a, you know, it takes hours to get kits printed. Um, but I'll get that, and that's, I'm so excited to start working with that kit. Um, I've come to the conclusion that when I'm not feeling that inspired, it helps if I have a really nice kit to work with. I want to put a little stamp up here, because that seems very plain. So, let me see what I can find. I think maybe like a bird or something. Actually, scrap that. I think I'm just going to put, I'm going to do a punch with um, a little butterfly. Let me see if I've got anything that I can. 
could use here. Okay, I'll come back to that, guys, because... Um, as well. I wonder if I could put those. Yeah, let me tuck those behind here. That will fit nice there. I mean, I could actually it's going to be the same problem though when I fold that. Yeah, I think I might do that, guys. So I need a couple of little things to go there. Alright guys, let me do a quick little tidy up, get organized, because I want to now start coming back and let's do some embellishing. Um, so I'll Okay guys, I got myself organized now. And uh, as per usual, I've changed my mind on what I'm going to do here. So I've got... These are my porch prints. I've just cut out a little label. Um, you could use any shape. And then I've cut out with my little butterfly punches a couple of those. And I just want to ink these around the edges a little bit just to make them stand out a bit more. And I just punched that out of some of the coordinating paper. And these are also uh, in Stephanie's shop. Though. She's got little words and I thought that would be sweet to add that as well. So let's just work on this for a minute. Let's get a little bit of cheesecloth. That's a bit much so I'll cut that down. A little bit of glue there, get that down. Now you, <clears throat> when you're doing these butterflies, you can stitch them together, but today I'll just, I'll just glue it. And then that way, if you just glue the center of that, it can be, um, you know, pulled up so that it's got some dimension. Gosh, my fingers are covered in glue. <laughs> Alright, so I better get the word down before I put that butterfly. So I'm just going to have that hanging off the, the little um, label. The little label. And then just get a bit of glue on this butterfly here. So now, what I think is that's going to be pretty there. And I'm going to leave it open at the bottom so it could serve as a little tuck spot as well. And gosh, I guess in fact, let's just go ahead and add something, shall we? I'm sure I've got loads of little cards here. really small ones. I think I'll just, uh, that's a pretty one. I'm drawn to that, so I'm going to put that one there. And again, this is my porch prints. Uh, It's 
going to be too long, isn't it? <sighs> Yikes. I'll just tuck it in there like that. Yeah, that's fine. It's just so the person that receives this will know that that's also a little tuck spot. Alright, so I've just cut out a tiny, tiny little butterfly. I'm going to add that up here. Just making sure that it's not going to get squished when I uh, fold that over. There we go. Okay. So I kind of want to get this closed, guys, and see how it's looking. Oh, yeah, it's getting chunky. Okay, so what I've... I've just, like I said, got loads of scraps and... Uh, you know, different things from different designers. I'm just going to fill this with lots of little journal cards. And I'm going to have that on the front just because I think that's super, super pretty. And you know, let me see, I wanted to, let me stencil this little, because this was a leftover tag I've got. I'm just going to do some stenciling on that. I love this stencil. This is the Tim Holtz. I just recently got this, these three stencils, and I love, love, love those. So, so pretty. Let's see, where am I? I'll stick him in here. Because there's not much going on in that pocket, but... I am getting concerned about how thick this is going to be now. All right, guys, let's let's see how we're doing because I want to get this front belly band. So that see, I've added that little lace thing back in. So now she's pretty chunky, but I'm actually very happy with that. Um, um, I think I want a couple of these phrases on the tabs. I do. Because I just feel like they need to be on there. So let me add that. Yep. And then I feel like there needs to be one back there. So just let me think again here. Believe, beautiful, imagine. Let's go with imagine. Imagine and dream. Yep, change of plans. I'll save the beautiful for another project because it, it's, I want this to be kind of like a inspiring folder. That's what I feel. I feel like we need inspiration right now. Okay. Yep. That's the ones I'm going to go with. So let me get those on there because I think that's going to make a difference on how it all looks. And I've got a, an idea for the closure on this. I hope you guys will like This is just a little heart that I punched out, and I'm going to put that there. And I'll put, I'll put 
put another one on the back. Okay, so this needs something. This needs some color. That's all too. Okay, I've got to add some color to that. Let me see, guys, what we can add. Um, these are some of Stephanie's. I think that, maybe that one. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I'll try this one because I'll have to trim it down slightly. Off. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to add some lace to the top of that. I'll grab some here. Alright guys, I'm going to go stitch around this, and I think I might, uh, let's see, I think I put a little bit of the lace and maybe a flower on that. I'll be right back. Alright, I've stitched that on, and I've got out my little, little box of flowers. I'm just going to add that to it because that really is very, very plain. Bit too much glue, but that's okay, that'll dry so. move on. We are needing to get this front done. Oh, I do like that. That's coming out nice. Alright, so what I've decided on the front is I've made this little embellishment with two of the um, graduated dies and then I added a couple of little flowers and pearls and I see I'm missing a little center there. Some of my um, some of my little gems I've had for a while and they aren't sticking that great because they've been moved around and in storage and ooh, if they could tell a story. <laughs> um so I want that, but I also want, and this is going to be tricky, this is where I wish I had some elastic, because I, it would be nice if this was a, a, a elasticized, what I've got in mind. So I want this on muslin, but... 
I've got all of my leftover papers. <clears throat> so, the first thing I need to do is get myself a bit of fabric, and we are going to build a layered uh, band, I'm hoping, that will work on this. And the reason I'm saying I'm hoping is because this <clears throat> doesn't have elastic. I'm really hoping I can do this properly so that it comes out. So what I'm going to do is have to stitch. But it doesn't matter, guys, because um, it's not going to show. Okay. stitch these together and then um, I'm going to take strips of different papers and then the final thing will be, be this so this is what I'm saying that's not going to show that I've joined two pieces so let me do that I'm sorry for all these breaks guys but there's no other way to do it so I'm going to stitch that come back and get this measured um, and, and we'll get on with this Alright guys, I've got that sewn together, but before we do anything else, let's go ahead and start getting our paper torn. And hopefully it's going to come out the way I've got it in my head. Um, now some of this is going to get cut off because I won't know until the end. Um, well, I don't know, should I do it? Go ahead and measure it off. Yeah, I'll take a bit off because I don't want to waste too much, so I'm going to take it down to that because it's going to have to be snug to slide on and off of that. So we've got that. Let's get these papers. Um, and you'll soon learn that um, sometimes I end up covering up stuff. I mean, it's just, but I do like to add uh, lots of these scraps <clears throat> to my projects. And don't, don't tear them all the same width because you want to start creating a, a layered look to it. You know, if you're going to make the closure the way I am, but this is how I do it. And it is a great use, guys, of your extra book pages. And I don't want to cover up all the the material so so just start tearing it and uh, placing things here and there until you get it the way you like it down. Normally I would not put the glue guys. I would take this to the machine and I'd just actually do it all in one go while I'm sitting there. But for the purposes of this, um, we're adding a different step because you guys need to kind of see how, how I just end up placing everything. Like I said, some of it you'll come back and you'll, you'll cover it up, but that's the random, how you get it, you know, random looking, so. And 
And then the very final thing is going to be this bit of trim straight across there. So see? All right, you probably can't see it that great. Let me stitch it, guys, and I'll show you up close how that's looking. Okay, guys, there. Now you can see a bit better on how that's all coming together. So it's getting warm in my space, guys, so we are going to wrap this up. Now, what I'm going to do is just wrap this around. And hope, hope, hope against hope that I've done this correctly. Oh yeah. So what we want to do, I need to stitch that because I want that. I don't trust the glue that you see, so I'm going to have to run that through. I'm not even going to shut the camera off, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, now, now I'm hoping <laughs> that I've got it to where I can get it on there. Because it's got to be snug, but, and this is why I said I, the glue I don't feel would be, ah, oh, sweet. That's come out perfect. Very, very happy with that. I'm trying to get that a bit more centered, and now... That's where I'm going to glue that with the fabric tack. And be be generous. And then we are not going to disturb that. There she is. Just want to make sure that gets glued down really, really well to that. Isn't that awesome? There you go. I'm very, very happy with that. I've got a couple more of these cut out, and I'm hoping once I get all these December dailies done, oh, I don't know, guys. I got so many things I want to do. You know how it is. The list just gets longer. It never shortens. But um, I'm really, really happy with that. It's not too, too big. I think it still would fall under Happy Mail in my mind. Just probably not international. Because <laughs> it's pretty hefty. But I hope you guys have enjoyed that uh, The series. That's flip back through again. I'll leave that to the side. I'm not going to disturb that anymore. So we go down. This is what she looks like. Got a nice little writing space here with a little tuck spot. And then here we've got all the little bits of ephemera that we tucked into this pucker. Oh yeah, I've got that one as well. Got our uh, double pockets here that we've made. That flips down. We've got our belly band with more ephemera. Then we've got this little tuck spot here with a couple of little 
journaling cards. This flips over. We've got another little pocket that flips out. Left this so we could add a photo of a special event. Wouldn't this be pretty for like um, a sweet 16 birthday? I don't know why, I just think that that looks so sweet for um, for like a birthday <coughs> memories, you know. And then we've got the three little weekly planners that we've just kept together. That little journal card all tucked into this one. And there it is, guys. Yep. There she is. I've enjoyed this project. It's, uh, I think I needed something like this. I love the colors, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you got any questions, just leave in the comments below, and I'll, I'll, I'll address those as, as quick as I possibly can. Thank you so much.